Do you mind telling me why do you follow Glenavon? Um, because I'm a Mournview boy. Um, it's my local team. The floodlights used to come through my, my bedroom window when I was younger, so it's just always been my team there around the corner from me. Um, I was taking the Glenavon game years ago when I was a lot younger, and uh, the time McCoy and McBride and all was playing. Um, I'm originally from Coke, so um, I was taken from a, a few older guys there, and um, I just got back into it about ten years ago, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Following Glenavon since 2006, so which is 17 years ago. My first match was Tuesday, 22nd of December 2006. My grandmother took me, and from them I've been going ever since, and I love it. I wouldn't miss it for the world. Eddie, what are your thoughts on this season so far? It started off pretty poorly, and the last number of weeks, new management just revolutionised us, it's, it's turned us around, and I think it's nothing but upwards, on, onwards and upwards from here on in. It's been a roller coaster. So it has, but they've come out of the, the bottom, so they have, and they're getting stronger. And these new players coming in, they'll be playing on that battery. Uh, slow start, um, but we have dramatically gained momentum. Um, you know, obviously, the last two results against the, the top six teams has been, it's been tough, but we have been challenging on them, we have been competing, which is important. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's looking great. It's been a very odd season. We had a bad start to the season, but we've turned things around. And if we can get the seventh and get into a cup final, then I'd class that as a very good season too. If you had to choose one player coming, you know, in your time here, coming to the games, that would have, was a standout for you. Who would it be? And all of all, all the time, oh, it's got to be Glenn Ferguson. Glenn Ferguson, or, or, or Ferguson McCoy or McBride, any of the three of them. I'd say Ferguson probably because of the goal score. I think uh, Keir Martin's probably one of the most underrated we've had, um, so I'd probably say him. At the moment, Garrett. You had to choose one moment following Glenavon, which would it be? Um, probably the 2014 Cup win because it was our first trophy in a long time. 2016 was brilliant as well. It was sort of unexpected playing Linfield in the final, but 2014 would have to be, yeah, definitely. I would say last season when they were beating all the top teams. 2016 Irish Cup against Linfield, it was one of the best days I've ever had following Glenavon and if I could do it all over again I would, I would indeed. Probably one of the, ga the game, the European game against Malmo where Solskjaer came down with um, Holland was playing. We won that, that night was a memorable game. Um, probably another one might have been against Crusaders here a few years ago. Uh, four or three or something we scored right at the end but there's been loads like you know we take the drive up the motorway sometimes downbeat and, and go up at happy so it's just it's just what you get here and like and I wouldn't change it beating Linfield 6-1 in the Budweiser Cup in 1989 at the Oval what do you think it is that makes Irish League special um, it's just just real fans um, you know, at the end of the day, the players, they're just normal people as well. You're close to them, you know them, um, and the clubs are all community-based too. So, um, yeah, it's just special. I think it's something special. At Mournview, it's a family outfit, so it is. Um, football should be like that. Seeing everyone, seeing all my friends, and there's a real community spirit here as well. And it's nice to see people from all walks of Lurgan come here as well and support the Lurgan Blues, which is what we want. And it's just great to see everyone here, and it's even better when we win because everyone has a smile on their face, of course. So it's just a real community club, and I wouldn't have Glenavon any other way. I think the, the competition's good. I, th I think it's I think it's good value for money. I think the football's good. It's, it's I know people and friends of mine go across to England every 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 couple of weeks, and they're not getting any better football than we're getting here. So I think it's good value for money and. It gets me out and going to shops on Saturday. It gets me out on a Saturday. I don't have to listen to the wife. <laughs> <laughs> what makes the Irish League special is just, you just really don't know what you're going to get. I've just seen it grow over the last um, so many years. The attendances, uh, the standard of play, um, and hopefully, eventually, the grounds will start to improve in future years. Um, but listen, it's all, it's all positive. What does Glenavon mean to you? Um, they mean everything. <laughs> uh, it means everything. Um, just love the club, um, love football, and I wouldn't want to do anything else for my weekends. It means the whole world to me. Um, ever since my grandmother got me into Glenavon, it means uh, the whole world to me. If someone was to cut me open, I'd bleed blue. It's, I love this club, and I'd do anything for this club. 
it means a, a big deal to me. So I'm just a proper Glenavon fan. I love this club, the bits. Just on that note of community, what do you think the Glenavon football team means to the community? Um, well, as you can see, they're right in the middle of the estate here. Um, you know, it, it's followed by, by most of the people around here. So it's very important. I mean, Glenavon's been here for, for nearly 100 or over 100 years. Um, so I think it's it's rooted within the very heart of the community here in Lurgan and in Mornby especially.